Whatever y'all want to fire today, I'm I'm up. I'm game. For you go, hey, anything. Sire, are you going to answer any question that we right. have for you right. today? I will try my best to answer any question you can. Any up question. With. Any question. Oh, here we, we go. Hey. Come up with. Right. Do it. Hey, welcome back, boys. We're back at the podcast room. We're back in the podcast room. Right. Guess who's back? Jump back, Jack. Get back, Loretta. <laughs> I'm full of it coffee. today, boys. I, I am full of it. He's excited. Oh, yeah. So I didn't travel this weekend. Hey. No. No, he didn't. Well rested. No. But hey, I finally met all of the prerequisites and all the stuff you got to do. Uh huh. I had to go to see my heart doctor and get it cleared there. And we done all kind of junk in there and even had to run the scope up in my heart again to check it and everything. And everything was cool. Yep. So finally, now yep. Dr. Connolly has. Uh, set the date for putting the the suffer valves in my lungs. That's real, real close to. Which that is <laughs> September the seventh. Yep. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. I'll be back yeah. then. Yeah. Good. Yeah. September seventh. Yep. That's the day after Godwin turns sixty. Oh. Hey. Oh, bur- birthday day. Yeah. For there Godwin. you go. So did you take care of him when y'all was gone? What last weekend? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, day. I did. Yeah, he did good. Right. No, good he day. boy did good. Because the boy, I, I, he kind of worried me because he's down in the dumps a little bit. <laughs> Godwin was down in the dumps? Yeah, dump. he can't eat like he used to. Wait, what happened? And he said he's starving to death. Which ain't true. No. Which ain't true. He didn't go to Mexico and get one of them bands put on, did he? <laughs> no. Well, hey. His pancreas quit working. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh oh, pancreas. pancreas. <laughs> he's, he's got a he's, he's got a little diabetic condition. Oh, yeah. I got yeah. you. But, yeah, no, he did good. He, uh. <laughs> The deal we were at, like, had a big bunch of cookies and everything, like snacks in the booth and all that. And he I did, think good. He didn't eat none of them. All he ate, well, bless all he ate was a ham sandwich. Bless his heart. Well, I tried to get him to do it sans bread, but he was like, no. Ham sandwich. <laughs> uh, but it was only one. Hey, that's it. He'd been eating ham sandwiches for years. Yeah. Yeah, he's known for it. He writes it on everything he signs. Damn, Sam. So. Hey, speaking he of that, that on me, and, seats. me and old Felipe and then Don Ashley had... BLTs. Who's oh, Felipe? Sunday. Oh, you? Yeah. I'm we guessing. went out to Murray Crow's, and, I mean, right. we had our way with the field right. mice. That's the, right. the underground rats. Oh, the rats. Oh. We had a killing. Did y'all whack them? Oh, yeah. But, yeah. hey, we got to give them a couple months of, to <laughs> repopulate. repopulate. You ain't got to give we them a couple them, of months. We hit them hard. Oh, you don't know what? Th- give them about three weeks. Well, hey, I'll fix that. We're gonna, I'm going to give them a full month. Yeah. Si had his, yeah. his yeah. pistol right here. I had a pistol. I shoot them with a pistol. And look, he got a few sound shots, and Murray got concerned. Oh no, I don't do sound. It was like this. Right. No, yeah, but I did seen, I get him? I thought no, I seen the limbs oh, and okay. the leaves jumping. Oh, he saw something that gave yeah, it away. Yeah, that's it. Was right. we stacked <laughs> them and whacked them? The first one I shot, just rats. Hey, I thought it clicked, <laughs> but then when I unloaded it, nope, it shot. It just didn't make no noise. The what? first one, I'm yeah. serious. The first one I clicked the hammer on, I it clicked and didn't make a pow. Did it shoot? Yeah, it shot. Is that possible? But I had to kill him with the second shot. I missed him with the first one because he was running up a tree. Just, I just pow, pow. Or it might and then the fired. next time, he was going out of sight when I shot, and then I seen him come falling back down. So time out. I yeah. got a lot of questions. Y'all shot rats? Oh, yeah. Running up trees. Running up trees. Look. They went on a regulation was, rat hunt. No, Martin. no. I was shocked the first time we did it. Okay. We, this wasn't the first time? No, no. No. We, it's about uh, what? Three weeks ago we did it, and hey, I'm telling you, Philip, well, <laughs> yo, I had the gun first. And, that old and, rat commander, boy. No, rat no, no, commander. Hey, look, he, Murray had only turned the water on halfway. What? So I stood there for about five minutes, and he said, "Well, no, when they come, they're gonna come in bunches." You know, so one come running out, and he got he got away right oh, quick. Well, you you leaving way too many. Turn the water. What does the water have to do? All right, let me, well, hey, here's well, the deal. Set up the hunt. Let me, let me oh, set it up. Out loud. Let me set it up. So, I'll set it up. So he's got a garden out there, and he's got a little pen, and there's some chicken coop. A little chicken coop, and there's some trees there. And he said, guys, I've got an infestation of these rats running yeah. everywhere. He said, I'm going to put the water in the hole, turn it on. They're eating 100 these... pounds of chicken feed a yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. So he said, I need some help. So when he put the water and turned it on, here they come. He didn't turn it on by halfway, but I was standing there about five minutes, you know. First one got, he got me, he slicked me, got away. And I finally, I sit there and I said, hey, no, here, here, Philip, you take the gun, I'm going to sit down and drink some tea. 
So as soon as I handed him gun to sit down, <laughs> it was here they, they come. Must, they must have been twenty five reps come running. They're running up trees, running on top of the building. He's jumping in the chicken coop, shooting up in the attic, you know. <laughs> but he killed by himself. He killed around twenty five last time. Well, we didn't kill but ten this time, and it was three of us. Yeah, I was shooting. They was both had a rifle. I had a pistol. I killed two. And I think I killed one more. <laughs> He's but, got a, he got a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the student in the back. There are cases of shotgun shells right here. <laughs> Why no. are we not using shotguns? No. Well, look. Look I, behind no. me. I know, but look, I, no. Right there. One, two, three, no, four, five. No, six, no, 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 no. You got to shoot them with rat shot. Why? Because <laughs> they're Cause, rats. Hey, because we don't want to shoot Murray's chicken coop up. Oh, that's true. Well, sometimes hey, you got to hey, sacrifice to get no, rid of a problem. No. Yeah. Well, we ain't trying to get rid of it, okay? You're trying to prolong it. <laughs> yeah. We want this to happen at once. While, and I'm trying to film it, but every time I said, hey, send me a cameraman with me, it's always something falls through and they can't make it. What? This is fun. Oh, it is okay? fun. What kind of rats are they? Hey. Huh? Well, the, uh, the ones we killed yesterday were big. Cotton rats? Oh, yeah. They're they, the, you know, like oh, six, hisp- eight, six, inch long. Hispid cotton rat? Oh, yeah. You can what? you can Google that. And, hey, look, and they're fat. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you? Because they're eating, the, hey, they eating 100 pounds of chicken Oh, yeah, they're fat. That's why they can't get away. Yeah. <laughs> they're walking on the limb, and, and the yeah. little limb's going. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, then I, that leads me to another question. As much, as fond as you are of squirrel. I ain't tried. <laughs> no, we was talking about that on the way, and I said, "Hey, look, somebody call." Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> you go kill cotton rats and clean them and eat them. I'll come video you. Won't nothing fall through. No, nope. I'll be no, your cameraman. No, no, I ain't gonna eat them. Huh? It just I can't make myself do it. That's what people say when they said you eat squirrels. I said, yeah, and they said tree rat, and I said, yeah, I eat, eat squirrels. I said that's my favorite wild game. Yeah, you know, but I just a rat now. That's a different story. Wow. But they like really close cousins. Well, I know, but I just no. And these are eating chicken feet. But I yeah, but I was joking, okay? Because somebody called Don Ashley while we was going toward her, and I said, "Hey, tell them don't don't worry about supper tonight. I'm gonna I bring them a bunch of uh, <laughs> or, uh, jambalaya made that <laughs> was rats." <laughs> You have a weird life, man. Hey, no, no, I have. A hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? Well, we got a rat problem that yeah, we could yeah. solve, but we don't want to because yeah, it's a lot not, of fun. Not completely. Just, yeah, we don't want to kill them all. Kind of no, smoke no. them out. Yeah, and then no. come back and three smoke weeks them out. Again. We should have smoked them out. out. We should have smoked them out. And they put flood a them out. in there. Well, no, I tried. No, that's dangerous. That's oh. dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. You see, I tried that with uh, the show, and and look, like to burnt the woods down. <laughs> Because, hey, what is they call it? The, the underlying, uh, like when you're in Alaska, the permafrost stuff underneath the ground kind of? Mm-hmm. Well, hey, you've got that in Louisiana. Because huh. I threw one of my napalm bombs in a in a beaver den trying to get rid of them. And, hey, next thing I know, we had to call the fire department to come out and put the woods out. Good grief. Because yeah. I'm talking about, hey, two miles away, okay, <laughs> Smoke starts coming up, and they said, we ain't even been over there. <laughs> I said, yeah, but all this ground, all this stuff underground goes over there. And it burns underground and pops up wherever there's oxygen. <coughs> so oh. apparently, <laughs> Miss So Chris- you got to be careful with fire. Apparently, Miss Christine's the only one with the key to where his napalm is because he said, how dead do we want these rats? Oh, Christine, sorry. bring me the key. She said, what are y'all doing? And she wouldn't give it to him. Right. We well, going to have it. <laughs> This is That's wild. a true story. Well, I was gonna, dangerous. I was, I was going to add a little colorful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wait. think you have we to add any color to well, shoot I know, rat. but we're going to wait to rat at sundown. That was a rat hunt. Yeah, we're going to wait to rat at sundown, and then I was going to add some color to the Because night. they're a problem <laughs> that he wants to come back. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> you don't want to ever get, get them all. Exterminate? No. That's right. Hey. <laughs> I need to give me a couple of uh, holsters. <laughs> we have one on. I know, but I, I need to have two. One on each side. That way I can have two guns. I'm not. That sounds dangerous. No. 
I'm very safe. All right, wide earth. The whole I'm, time. Oh, I am. I, no, he I, is safe. The I'll whole go give time. Him that. You know, I told them they was worried about it. I was over here, and they was over there. And I said, hey, I'm going to be shooting this way. Do you wear a cowboy hat and spurs when no, you do this? No. You should. I was, no, I, quite, I, I, I when I was getting ready to go, I said, you go I, on a rat hunt. Do, I really, wanna, a do hat. I really want to go all the way western on this and put my <laughs> cowboy boots on <laughs> and, hey, put two guns on. Crocs, jorts, <laughs> tank, and a wife top, beater. tank top with hat. Willie Robertson's face on it. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Unreal. Actually, we had hard hats. And here oh, I no. and here I am oh, gone. No. Here I am gone all weekend for an appearance that helps pay your salary. And you're I, here. No, no. When I was up here, I tell you, hey, real. No, no. He told me to meet him up here at Duck Commander. So I'm sitting there waiting. They drive up him and Dom Ashley, and look, they've got on a uh, uh, vest, the uh, fluorescent vest. Hunter Orange. No, green. Mm-hmm. Oh. I thought it was energy. Like construction I thought it was marker. energy. I thought it was energy people. But anyway, they show up, get out, got Mardi Gras junk all over them, a hard hat on, and then they gave me a hard hat when I got up to Murray and said, hey, we're going to do this right. We're going to be safe. What were y'all trying to do, be men at work? Oh, hey, hey. Like, we, we was trying to be a band because we was also singing. You come from the London under. <laughs> I mean, is that... Unreal. Let's take a yeah, break. Yeah, I don't know where to go. We're ready to get a break. Get out of here. Yeah. Y'all's we'll weekend's back. incredible. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Hey, are you tired? I'm so tired. I'm well, so tired. Well, get you a Helix mattress. Why would you do that, sir? Si? Well, it's like sleeping on a cloud. Oh, is it not the okay. best night's sleep you've I'm ever here. got? I actually rolled over in it, and I thought I was falling. <laughs> That's how comfortable I was. I wanted to just go, ah, and I fell from the sky. And then he woke up and had to take yeah, a hey, Then my wife grabbed me and said, baby, baby, baby. Oh, said, okay. Hey, you are right, though. Why would you want to buy a mattress made for somebody else? Buy one That's made for you made for crying for out loud. Mine was made hey, for look, me. Hey, look, all you got to do is take a little test. I ask you a few questions, and then, hey, if they tailor fit it to you. Look, and that test only takes two minutes or less, That's depending it. on how, how technical you want to get on your sleeping positions and whether you're alone or with Real your quick. wife or partner or whatever. I oh, sleep on my uh, back. Hey, when it, on a when it comes in, cloud. it's so much fun. Because, hey, you got to un- unwrap it and stand back. And get out the way. Hey, get out of the way when you unwrap it because it's fixed to grow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do the rest. It'll do the rest, baby. <laughs> Whether you sleep hot or cold, they've got a mattress for you, Johnny D. Moonlight Lux. Moonlight baby. Lux. He's a moonlighter, boy. Oh, I love he, a good soft mattress. He, he likes a pillow mattress. I, like, I like think sleeping mine on was a midnight lover. I like the floor. Then <laughs> they make them as hard as you need them. I can tell you that right now. So if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz. Order the mattress you've been matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door. Ship for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store again. Look, we're saving y'all time and money. Helix is awesome, but you don't need to take our word for it. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020. By GQ and Wired Magazine, Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving sleep. Just go to helixsleep.com slash duck, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. You don't like it, they'll come pick it up for you. You ain't going to have to worry about that, but the option is there. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans so a great night's sleep is never far away helix is offering up to two hundred dollars off all mattress orders and two free pillows for listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck that's helixsleep.com slash order you one today slash duck duck (laughs) but also order one today oh wow they're not joking hey hey sit check this out si what we got out and started shooting, and Murray just got out of the way. That's right. Murray got out of the way. Tell me, these people are crazy. This is what y'all do on weekends. That's what we do on weekends. It's about what we do. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I put his hard hat on. Hey. He said, all right, boys, I ain't, I ain't going without a hard hat. What would y'all do if y'all drank? It's party time. Yeah. I see why you don't now. Hey, hey, we have enough fun without it. That's what I'm saying. I'd scared to know what you'd do if you did. Yeah. Well, no, all we do is dress up like feel bad the next morning when we get up with a hangover. (laughs) This way we don't have to feel bad. And they still dressed up like the village people. (laughs) 
That's it. <laughs> and went on a rat hunt. That's right. Hello, <laughs> question. And singing. Did you have to purchase those glasses? <laughs> no. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you know I didn't. I knew you, you already, know had, already them. had them. You already had them, boys. He's but, wearing a Buck Commander scarf. But judging by hey. the Magellan tag still on Don's shirt, he just went and bought that shirt. <laughs> Beads. He went and bought camouflage to go shoot cotton rats. <laughs> he did. So the mighty cotton rat won't see you as you flood his house. And he told his wife, you got $100, and she was like, where are you going? He said, I'm going on a rat hunt with Philip and Si. And she I got to have like, a license. He was like, I got to get a license. I mean, Ball game? Yeah. Yeah, I got to get a license. You got a game afterwards. It only opens up, you know, a few weeks out of the year. That's right. Hey, it's just two days. You boys are wild, man. <laughs> anyway. Any I was news, up in the great state of Minnesota. Minnesota. Which I will say this, by the way. August in Minnesota is incredible. The high was like 65. It's really pretty. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the weather was yeah. incredible. Yeah. I found Goblin just sitting out on the patio of the hotel. I said, well, what no, are you no. doing? He said, soaking it in. Mm -hmm. That's the land of a thousand lakes. 10,000. 10,000. They're everywhere. Try yeah. 10 times that. Yeah. But I don't know. But it's anyway, in, in, in the summertime, it is. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it was incredible. Swans, yeah. cranes, oh, yeah. geese, yep. turkey, and the, wow. duck. And the loon. The loon? Yeah. I didn't yeah. see none of them. What's a loon? You, huh? He's, oh. he's a kind of a, a diving bird. Yeah, they end up on Caney during the winter. Oh, yeah, a loon. Yeah. I love the sound they make. What, yeah. what is the sound? Well, like? I don't. I can't make it. Oh, you can try. <laughs> no, no. No, that's a, that's a uh, Sand Hill crane. Oh. <laughs> All right. What's, what is it? <laughs> I don't. I can't Just make it. Just give it your best effort. I, come on, Sai. You or said you people. would do it. No, I, I, I can't <laughs> do it. You crazy as a loon anyway. Well, hey, I know, but I can't crazy. make the crazy yeah, sound a loon makes. Do they make it, crazy sound? In the evening time, it's cool to yeah, hear. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting sound. No. It's, it's one that... I can't even, I can't even describe it. The whole thing Sai is correct on is hard to replicate. Yeah. Oh. That, that, that's a tough one. Oh, no. If it's a man make, who can make yeah. most bird sounds, Yeah. I ain't got that one in my repertoire. Yeah. You don't? Yeah. Mm-mm. Nope. Well, guess who does. He makes the craziest sound. The Cornell. YouTube. Oh, oh, that's a commercial. I'm sorry. I was going to say, the, the Cornell do the, lab the, of birds the, does. Uh, loon, he, he does something. Yeah, that's yeah. him. <laughs> that ain't it. Because, see, look, yours would echo. You see how yeah. that thing don't echo? It just dies Flat. out there in the. Flat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sound like a dog that just got hit. <laughs> I got shot with rat shot Saturday. I heard the sound of one of them rats toting three <laughs> legs as he's going no, on. No, they sound like this. <gasps> oh, that reminded me. PBS. Uh-oh. Yeah, baby. Hey, no, no. PBS. What happened? This week. Last week. What time of clock? <laughs> no, no. We're in Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We done left America, boy. Oh, no. We left America, and we've gone to the great continent of Africa. The savannah. And look, and we're with the wild dogs. Uh-huh. Did you and, feel hey, at home? By the way, they're they're getting <laughs> yeah. close to being on the extinct list. Ooh. Yeah, there's not but seven hundred breeding pair left in the world. That's because people have been running water. Well, down no, no, there no, 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 no. They're they're clearing the land in Africa and the roads and vehicles. A lot of them die from vehicles. Well But anyway, it was same. showing I mean, go down Thomas Road. It was showing two, okay, male and female, and the female's pregnant. Yeah. Okay. And usually they have to run in a big pack to survive. Well, this just this, these two is all that's out there. So they have a litter of like thirteen puppies. Hmm. Now dad's got to go get all the food. Mom's too busy, you know, carrying the babies and taking care of them once they was you know born. But she actually raised two litters. Okay, so now they got about twenty six. You know, so they've got. She actually raised. They've got a pack of like, you know, 30, 30 wild dogs. Do wild and dogs? They, they even tackled and, and killed a wildebeest. You know? So, what, what's but the you got to have numbers. Do wild dogs have names? Yes, they have. Oh, like, what it was. Jayhawk was the father's name. And then what was her name? Rock Chalk? Puzzles? No, Preckles, Preckles, or something like was that. Was it but Puzzles and Jigsaw? Have, oh, that's what it was. Puzzles and Jigsaw. You've seen it. <laughs> I looked it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Puzzles and jigsaw. <laughs> okay. See, I'm, I didn't even, I thought it was something else. 
But hey, it was really uh, you know educational watching this. What's the predator side? What's killing? the name of oh, the no. show? Is dogs in the land of lions? Yeah, in the land of lions. And I was there, it, that's it's got the predators are the lions. I got you. She lost two of her kids to lions. Okay. Yeah, to lions. Jeez. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, it was it was a very interesting story. It's you know? great. It's just funny because I looked it up and it says, in the beginning, an African wild dog mother named Puzzles. Puzzles, yeah. <laughs> so she had a beautiful color. It was black, black, uh, brown, a, white, and kind of an orange color. Puzzles. Yeah. I bet the people that named them Puzzles and Jigsaw oh, no. ain't like Si. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I bet they need more than tea. Oh, oh no! Hey, just saying. If you look at something, hey, look, I'm name that. And here's something that that just shocked me. Tell us. They're in the woods, okay, hunting. The dogs are, and guess what they run up on? A dumpster. No. Snakes. Long trunk. Elephant. Elephants hate wild dogs. Well, they don't like mice either. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, but I'm saying, hey, like you. No, no. It. (laughs) Hey, they was pushing over trees and everything else and coming after them. After it was the dog? Wild. No, after the dog. Oh, yeah. It was bad enough that the lions don't like them. But then, hey, the elephant don't like them either. Good grief, son. You're talking about a rough life. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was wild to watch, okay? Because the elephants come running at them, and, I mean, they was trumpeting when they was doing it. You know, they were fired up, I'm talking about. Mm. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot by not watching. PBS. Oh no, I'm telling you, PBS has got some I've been good stuff on PlayStation like a loser. I should oh, be yeah. watching PBS. Right. <laughs> what happened to Jigsaw in the end? He gone. Yeah, he died. I think, <laughs> I think the lions killed him. Yep. I've read yeah. the synopsis <laughs> of the episode. Then she was on her own with both sets of, <laughs> of, of pups. You know, one of them was like you know. Puppies, in other words, were half grown. Did he die defending his family? Well, no, the lions got him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, was yeah. he protected? Well, he wasn't. No, uh, but hey, they got. She got back at him at the lions because they had killed a wildebeest or some other thing. No one wildebeest, but some other big animal. They had killed him. The lions had two of them, and they was eating him. Well, hey, since there's about 26 of these dogs, <laughs> the dogs come up and took it away from him and said, "How about that?" Strength in numbers, baby. That's right. Wild That's dogs. Right. That's right. Wild dogs. You may have killed my daddy, but you know, I'm taking you. You killed my dinner. daddy, so now we're taking your feet. Now we even. <laughs> Hashtag right. puzzles. Even, buddy. <laughs> get some. Hey, get revenge. He baby. said, Oh, that reminds me. PBS. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, hey, you need to watch it. it they got some interesting shows. Well, that's, that's season hey, 37, that's episode five. Yeah, and that's a good looking dog. What is this? Criminal Mind? I don't oh, know, but I'm. Like, I'm season 37. I don't even know what channel PBS is. 13. I knew that. There's a 13? Yeah. I thought 13. they were all like yeah. four, five, 13 or 12. You yeah. got either one of them. Yeah. Johnny D, you back. got that high definition television. No, he on a streaming bag. Oh, yeah. He's no, streaming. I have he's cable. Streaming. I know you got oh! cable. That's so pretty. Okay, people. He's not, This looks awesome. There is just dogs chasing and lions. Oh, no. Have you seen this? No. <laughs> That's oh, unbelievable. In the land of the lions. Dogs in the land of hey, the look lions. How pretty she is. This is not a hashtag ad, by the way, but you should. Hey. I'm going to watch this. Hey, well, it was worth watching. Let's catch a clip in our next break. We'll be back break. right now. All right, yeah, watch this. Break. I'm tired of going to the post office. You went hey. to the post office? No. Huh? You stamps.com, Why boy. Why go there? When they'll come to you. Hey, it's over 24-7. You can get it from anywhere. You ain't got to waste no time going down there. We've used it forever here at Duck Commander. I know Johnny D does whenever you do the honey hole hats and all the stuff the folks order from there. Worms, crickets, shiners, everything they want to get. I've never shipped a shiner via stamps.com, but I did ship a jackhammer. But you would. Oh. But he Don't will. dare me to have a good time. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Stamps.com saves you time, money, and stress. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses just like ours. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer and get discounts you can't find anywhere else like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off of UPS rates. Whether you're in office sending invoices, an Etsy shop, sending your products, or a warehouse shipping out orders, make Stamps.com makes mailing and shipping a breeze. All you need is a regular computer and printer. 
no special supplies or equipment. Plus, Stamps.com seamlessly works with Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and more. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send. You can even order shipping supplies through Stamps.com, including free priority mail envelopes and boxes. Don't mail and ship the hard way. Sign up with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code DUCK. For a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale, no long-term commitments or contracts, just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code DUCK, Duck and never go to the post office ever again in your lifetime. They, the only thing that, that is not edible that I know of in Africa is a elephant's tusk. Everything Dude. else is eaten. There is bones, all of it. There is 40 seasons of this show. Oh, no, hey, I'm telling you, it's fine, son. There's like 500 episodes. Oh, there's a hippo, boy. That's another interesting creature. <laughs> That's a uh, brand new episode. The River Monster. Hippo King. The River Monster. Have you seen it? Hey, it, it? There's more people killed by the hippos than anything else in Africa. Hippos kill more people. Mosquito. How fast can they run, Zai? Yeah, I think 40. the mosquito's the top, isn't it? Really? 40. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like the way their teeth are covered up. They oh, got there's... giant tusks, and their mouth covers them up. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that one. That one looks cooler than dogs. We've got to find somebody to let Cy narrate one of those shows. Dear PBS. <laughs> or anybody that may listen here and work there. Right. Oh, no. Hey. Well, it's a Consider it's, it like it's a... It's taxpayers' money, a public broadcast. I think we can vote Cy in. you got to understand something. During the monsoon seasons in the uh, yeah. Serengeti... <laughs> yeah. you got to understand prairie. that, Martin. Hey. No, no. Hey. The, the Serengeti... Pr- uh, prairie dries up. <laughs> it's the prairie. Okay. Then in monsoon, it floods. Okay. And look, they've actually, the hippos actually have highways underwater in the rivers. How would you know that without PBS? Because right, it showed it. Thank you. It shows them, hey, it shows them they're underwater and showing these hippos running down the highways underwater. Man. Their headquarters are in Virginia. Road trip. <laughs> we just wild. knock on the door. Right. And we don't take no for an answer. <laughs> right. We can go to the water zoo that Sal always right. talks That's about it. in Virginia. Hey, the water they'll, zoo. They'll make me a water zoo. Boy, and put <laughs> He's all a water zoo the, specialist. All the hippos and the uh, crocodiles <laughs> and the snakes. That's just a regular zoo. Right. Hey, oh, no, that ain't regular. <laughs> you got crocodiles, hippos, and what? Uh, uh, anacondas. Anacondas. Wait, are you? All them. So is a, well, in a water hey, zoo. Are they all in the same enclosure? Oh, yeah. We're going to put them all together. We're just going to let Survival nature. Survival of the fittest. That's boy. right. And then find out who's the baddest in town, baby. We're going we to put Darwinism <laughs> to the test. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're going to see who has the baddest in town. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. What is that guy's song? Bad, bad Leroy Brown. Yeah, we're going to find out if Leroy Brown is bad as he thinks he is. Probably ain't as bad as Jigsaw. <laughs> no. Well, Jigsaw. Oh, that's to be big, fair, Puzzles John. was better. Oh, is Puzzle Puzzles thought, Jigsaw? Oh, Jigsaw got got. Jigsaw. I oh, think. I thought Puzzles was the one that got got. That, no, it was Jigsaw. Hmm. Sadly, well, Jigsaw got got, but Puzzles but had but twenty six kids to just right. run the show. If they'd have named him Whoopsaw. Yeah, well, a whoopsaw whip could have lasted He'd have made it. Rip, or ripsaw. Yeah. Ripsaw, rip saw, man. You don't want to get caught in a whoopsaw. Ripsaw. Right. Don't get caught in a whoopsaw, boys. Yeah, that's a bad deal. Right now, Nature Cat is on. Oh, that's a that's a child. Man. Oh, hey, that's a good one, too, because they got, they got a special cat. He fishes. Most cats hate water. What? But this one don't, because he's a fish fish. Coming, coming on at seven. He's a fish catching cat. This is a cartoon? Oh, no, no, it's no cartoon. This oh. is for real. I'm just looking up. It to... shows him in stripping in water, and then he does like the fox does, catching mice. He jumps straight up in the air and comes down, and when he does, he catches fish. I was just looking up PBS's schedule. I didn't know what, t- I don't know what, what time does this come on? It I ain't... watch it at night sometimes. Yeah, but it ain't early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It ain't early. Tomorrow night's I want to say disaster. Wednesday. No, I hold it. Sometimes it's Wednesday. Sometimes it's Wednesday. I, it's a, I get PBS and, and Father Brown on the, they're on the same channel. <laughs> Father Brown.
Father Brown is BBBC or BBBC or BBC. Yeah. The BBC. Is that what it is? The BBC. BBC. The Wait, BBC. The British. Now British. you're watching the Britain. Yeah. PBS. Watching, yeah. Yeah. They've got they got Father Brown. That's where that. Planet Earth lives. Yes. It's on BBC. Yes. Yeah. Nature. And, and Father Brown. Nature. Father Brown is a good. He's and a, Doctor Who. Good, it's a good uh, drama show. You deserve a murder and then Doctor. The, the father has to figure it out. The good preacher figures it out. And the preacher figures. Is he a preacher? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a yeah Catholic, Roman Catholic uh, priest. priest. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> and he's sharp. And he's hey, cool. And sharp. I was so excited to tell y'all about the trick I learned if you're marketing dog food. The, the, what is it? Hey, well, what is it? No, nothing now. It just oh, seems lame. Mean? It hey. seems lame after oh, all no, this. No. What if Tell you marketed it to wild dogs? That's right. We yeah. may get it to wild dogs. Well, dog. that's essentially what we did because we were giving out sample bags with our buddies at Victor, and one of the sales reps every now and then would go out there because it's outside in the grass, and you can't really see it in the grass, and he'd just open one of them bags and chum the area. So the people <laughs> walking by with their dogs, their dogs would stop. That's it. Well, then yeah. they'd stop. Well, yeah. then you had a chance to tell them about your dog food. Oh. Pretty good. Oh yeah, I said this like deer hunting. That's pretty good salesmanship. Buddy. See, hey, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. But I got, hey. I just got waylaid by wild dogs named Puzzles and Jigsaw, hey. and my mind is essentially blown. That boy was so. using his noodle, boy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that was hey. good, good. Using something yeah. other than a hat rack. Oh yeah. Do you good. know what the best marketing trick I ever heard was? Oh, this yeah. ought to be good. This is pretty good. Or sales trick. Uh, I was talking to a car salesman, and he would give you a free ice cream if you looked at a car. Like a whole pint. That way you have to go home after and you can't go to another car store. <laughs> He's like, once you get free ice cream, you got to go home and put it in the freezer. And when you're car shopping, you go into each and every one. That's right. You so he's like, car. oh, yeah, well, we're going to continue shopping. Well, hey, take Knock, some ice cream on me. And then right, you're like. That's right. Knock the competition out. We got to go home. We got to stop you, yeah, here. Yeah, you got a decision to make. Yeah. Either go yeah. home or eat it there. Oh, eat Nobody's it. saying but he didn't no give you a spoon. to the ice cream. Nope, no spoons. Ooh, no spoons. That's a good point. That's interesting. That's the most brilliant thing I've ever heard. I said, wow. So here, here's an alert for you. Uh-oh. Next time you go car shopping, take a spoon with you. <laughs> take a spoon with you. And you can eat it. Eat it in the that parking lot. That way you can say, okay, thanks for the ice cream, and then go right across the street and <laughs> eat your ice cream in the other parking lot. We're going to have to have Goblin <laughs> Shop online. <laughs> Ham sandwich. can't do that. Goblin can't eat the shop. Nope, that's it. He's out. No. No ice cream. Too much sugar. I made a milkshake the other night. It was silly. Oh, was it good? Yeah. Homemade? Oh, yeah. Oh, good grief. I put... Did you put in fresh... Well, we don't really... Fresh strawberries or fresh fruit in it? Yeah, I put some fresh Snickers bars in it. Oh, good. <laughs> fresh Snickers bars. But that is you good. You're making one of them junk things. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it wasn't good for you. Kind of <laughs> like a strawberry you're, milkshake. Hey, you're playing Sonic. Hold on. Sonic. Just because you put fruit in something doesn't make it healthy. Oh, you, yes, it did, does. Did, hey, did I say anything about health? <laughs> okay, I'm just, you I called said, mine you junk. Make junk. <laughs> Messing up a good milkshake, putting a Snickers bar in it. Uh, so, first off, good, good. I put mini Snickers bars. Mini Snickers bars. Hey, M A N Y or M I N I? M A N Y M I N I. Oh, mini, mini. Yeah. Yeah. Mini, mini. You're talking about, hey, he got a bag and used the whole bag. No, nah, well, we don't really, like, it's my wife doesn't food. let our kids eat a lot of candy and. You know, if you look at yeah, where yeah, we... so you make them a malt that's got 19 chocolate bars in it. Sir, they did not participate in this. They oh, were this already was in bed. <laughs> this was mom and dad time. So Here, I started buddy. looking around, and I find 10 all PM. this candy from, This was like, just before canoodling. Okay, Christmas canoodling, and okay. Halloween. I'm like, we don't eat this junk. Why do we have so much of it? And then I was like, but I just found a lot of Snickers, and I know where some ice cream is. And I know is. where a half gallon of vanilla ice cream is. So, you know what else? I know where the ninja is. Let's roll. Ninja. I thought I was going to wake up all the kids. It was the loud. Ninja. When you chop up about 10 uh, Snickers bars, it gets wild mm. in the blender. Did you give her a spoon to eat it with? Who? Your wife. Uh, she had her own cup. We <laughs> She's got to stay right there, don't she? Yeah. They know. That ain't time for sharing. There. Get you on. I like milkshakes, though. I forgot about them. Yeah, they're good. So I got that new cup. You've been proud of it. Look, there's his old one beside him. Just in case. It's probably still got, a little, still got a little tea Where in are it. the tubawares? Oh, uh, go. he's got them. He got them hid yeah, in a the house. safety box. Yeah, they're at the house. One day we're going to put them things on eBay and be moving. Well, they're too hot. It's too hot. It won't hold ice long. Won't hold ice. Nope. It, this will hold ice it, all day. I wonder how day. much. That actually holds ice longer. Oh, it'll take it all day long. Wildly stronger. <laughs> and wildly stronger. That's it. 
Can we say that? Worst commercial I've ever seen. <laughs> right. It was, no, it it was, was so bad. Hey, it was just like that guy so with his dog it. food, pouring dog food out. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a Yeti commercial from how long? It was 10 years old now? <laughs> Older than that. Older than t- 2012? Hey, if, a grizzly bear can't, if a grizzly bear can't get into it, that's a good I bet it was 2010. Boy. And 2009, basically the duck men all stood there and in unison said, Wildly no, strong. No, attempt it in unison. Longer. Keeps us longer. <laughs> it took us like longer. It took us like forty-five <laughs> minutes to get anything close. The last one, I just merely vanilla. You just <laughs> lip synced it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say it. Like it was obvious we couldn't all talk at the same time. Wildly stronger. Keeps us longer. Ice longer. <laughs> hey, standing by the boat shed. I like the grizzly bear slapping them around. <laughs> I ain't watched outdoor TV in a long time. The grizzly right, that bear. was the best part, having a big grizzly bear slap it. Yeah. I always did wonder why we needed them to be uh, grizzly proof. For out west. That's a good right. point. That's right. Yeah. When you go out. So, hey. They wasn't designed for toting domestic light beer around. Mm. I mean, that's what they do now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I found it. That's it. Yeti cool. Wildly stronger. Keeps ice longer. There it is, boy. There it is, baby. <laughs> That's it. Hey, hey. Worst commercial ever. Hey, we was in harmony. Yeah, you no, were. we weren't. You oh, could yeah, hear hey, everybody. Oh, that was harmonizing good. Wildly stronger. Wildly stronger. Oh, that was like Hunter edited that audio. Like, <laughs> well, hey. Oh, 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 oh look Hunter. at him. He's, He's looking at me job. over there. He's doing a good job. <laughs> ah. Hey, I told him for years. That was just to make to sure use, he was awake I over said, there. you need to use one of these Yeti cups. He wouldn't do it. No, he wasn't going to do it. Nope. Wouldn't do it. I don't know why. What turned him on to that one? It, it was that in, commercial. It was, in your hey, office. it was that commercial he they was on. Brought, he was like, they finally brought me one of those stupid things. Longer. Don't even. Wait, is, <laughs> is that how no, long it No, si, don't even. Si, it took that long <laughs> to get one? Hey, don't it took even. that long for them to give me one. In no, my oh my that's, a, that's a lie. They you know it. I offered no. I got We're going to break. <laughs> I ain't gonna let him sit here and just bald face lie to people. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. But it took forever for Phil to say Yeti. 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 It's Yeti cooler. Yeti. And Phil, look here's here's Phil, typical redneck. He's worried that the cooler is going to leave while we're filming the commercial. So he signs it. It's going to leave. I'm like, Phil, this company is paying us money to endorse their product. They're leaving the cooler. No, no, I need one of them. Phil took a black Sharpie and signed a white Yeti cooler just so it wouldn't leave. I'm like, Phil, they will. One thing Yeti has never had a problem with for us is sending product. Yeah, it's giving us crop products. Most of the time I'm like, Stop. According to Zai, he can get a cut does, for a decade. And that's, a, that's just a bald face lie. But <laughs> that's fine. That is what it is. Zai's yeah. riding it in the ground. Running. Yeah. Running. Run him. Run him in Zai the ground. realized, though, for his own personal sake, it was better to keep toting that green Tupperware cup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he went to a school of personal branding that that worked. So, you know, but now he's on to the... He's on to wow. the highlight, but he also doesn't have an ice machine at his disposal every time like he had back then. Back then, he just said, hey, I'm out of ice, yeah. and they bring him a cup of ice. Shake it. When the man got to go fetch his own ice, he gets something that'll keep ice. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, because when yeah, he the says. The days of being hand, hand and foot, they're <laughs> over. Yeah. That's Ain't gone. nobody bringing me bags of Cheez-Its no more. No. Or, <laughs> you know, none of that's happening. And there ain't no caterer up here How making soon? every meat taste the same. That's right. How soon they forget. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the golden goose has laid his last egg. Now we're selling dog food in Minnesota and shooting rats on the weekend. That's right. Well, hey. Wouldn't have it any other way, baby. Life, Life is grand. grand. It's the American I'm dream. That's right. I'm living the American dream. <laughs> well, I don't even know where we go from here, gang. <laughs> <laughs> this has been one of my favorite episodes well, ever. Well, you had said there was good stuff from the fans. I got a lot of emails. You right. want to jump into that early? Jump into that mailbox. Roll it. And here Roll. we go. All right. Roll well, with the fans. Anytime I see one. Oh, we got an update. Uh-oh. Oh, good. We do have an update. Natalie from North Carolina, whose husband just kept on fixing that refrigerator. Yep. She bought him a new one. We got her a new fridge, boys. Hey, we got her a new fridge. Hey. 
You're welcome, Natalie and How's husband. That? Good for her. Uh, yeah, she she played him the podcast, and then he was like, "Fine, <laughs> all right, I'll get to okay." Me. Somebody get Samsung on the phone. That's, That's what right. I'm talking Bad about. Government. Look at us. We're changing lives. That's right. And then right. Martin, just for you, you love a good trail cam pick. I do. What do we get? I don't know. Two bucks. But that one's tiny. Yeah. They said it's a dwarf deer. Because the guy that said, so apparently there's an Uncle Si involved in this, and he Uh-oh. said that deer's been the same size for three years. Is that a road deer, Si? Is that a dwarf deer, Martin? They need your help. I don't understand uh, that. No, I hear the road deer don't get very big at all. No, oh, but those, are, white, true, those are whitetail. Those are 100% whitetail. I don't know. They may be brothers, and, and big brother ain't letting little brother eat nothing. I don't know. That's, that's that Jacob. looks like a genetic abnormality yeah. to me. That's but. Jacob from Wentworth, North Carolina. The but, biologist said, hey, genetics. But speaking of brothers, we went and saw the two little Martins this morning. They're doing fine. Them the old oh. Martin boys. And, and, a, they, and they grow in. Got a pair of three-pounders. We're What's working that? on a oh, bag. So. Hey, three-pounders. Hey. we about to drop 15 on them. He's got two pair right now, but he's working on a full house. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, three-pounders. <laughs> three-pounders. Pair of three-pounders. Three we pounders, only got what? Boys. Two months left? Not even. Not even two mm-hmm. months. Mm-hmm. They're measuring about two weeks ahead of schedule, week and a half. Well, they're the, uh, they are the old Martin boys. They be. <laughs> and Martin boys. The Martin yeah. boys ain't known to be just like so say Three pounders, and you got what, two more months? Not quite, yeah. Not quite? Yeah. They're going to go around about six something. They mama probably going to try to evict them about five, if I had to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Gone get. I think Brittany's joy of pregnancy is officially over. I bet. Over. O-O-V. So she done with it? Yeah, she's over it. Oh, I like one. I ain't seen her in a minute. She, uh, no, I, I, I better. She I, pregnant? I, Big. I, I was going to say something about somebody else, but I'm not going to Well, do she it. got two three-pound babies. Yeah. That's like a regular six-pound baby. And generally, they're getting well, My wife to, ain't never had a six-pound baby. I about to say, generally, they're getting ready to calve about that point. Uh-huh. But no, she just, here we are. Oof. Biggins. Mm. Praying for you, Martin. Hey, I appreciate <laughs> it. You ain't kidding. Pray for my contractor. And by extension, me, that this house gets done. Amen to that. Wow. So, you, you well, just, there's your update on them old Martin boys. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Good well, day. seeing them made me think of that. It was funny because they're, well, one of them's like 3-3, three, three, and the other one's like 3 even. That's what they said. So one on top bigger than the one on bottom. I'm like, you poor fella. Did you start this house remodel before y'all found out about the pregnancy? No, very soon thereafter. Whenever we realized that. That house shopping was out. That of they the had equation. one sneaky lesson learned, boys. They, they got one of them that plays good hide and seek. He's a late bloomer, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> he keeps pulling his brother in the front. Oh, yeah. after his he's, mama. He's a he's whatever a hide you want to say about specialist. <laughs> bunk beds. All right. Um, Ain't that the truth? <laughs> bunk beds are awesome. They are. <laughs> we got some. All right. Anyway, Micah from Rossville, Georgia, it's over by Chattanooga. He says, um, he listens on Spotify. He loves the podcast. And he makes his own salsa called Fat Boy's Salsa. And he said, if we answer his advice, he'll send us some salsa. Fat Boy's. <laughs> That's the Fat Boy's I know. I don't know what that meant. But, all right. I expect salsa you now. Uh, Micah, I have no idea what we're talking I about. I just know Johnny D's reading this for free salsa, and it cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a good, it's a good question. Hey, though. I read one for cookies, so don't don't hear me. Well, I'm a fixed face. Salsa's good stuff. I like salsa. Yeah, I'm, I'm ship a, it, ship I'm it. A JD on that. He yeah. and he was curious if you guys would be interested in trying some. What? Yes. Hey, yeah, I am. All right. Yeah. Anyway, here's the reason he's emailing. Besides the salsa, <laughs> is he needs some life advice. He just turned 29, and he thought by now that he'd found a woman that is worth marrying, or the woman that God made for me. I feel I'm cursed because every time I've tried dating, it never works out, and I'd like to hear your input. Also, as much as we all love Cy, si, Martin is by far my favorite on the podcast. Well, hey. And he makes salsa. Hey, that's all right with me, baby. Right, let's go. <laughs> and if no. it's called Fat Boy Salsa, I'm guessing we got something else in common. How could that? So. Nobody's well, heard right. of the Fat Boys. They, sing, they used to rap music back in the 80s. I mean, y'all are too young. But. I was born in 89, man. <laughs> That's the Fat Boys. That's the Fat Boys yeah. rap. I don't know. All I know is salsa. <laughs> All right. All right. Mar- Martin, you're his favorite, so give him, yeah. tell him what to do. Well, what I didn't age get... did you get married? 
twenty nine. Twenty nine. I was about to say I didn't get married till I was twenty nine. So, but well, I, I would never worried about finding the one. That, she, that just kind of happened. Like yeah. I, I just live in my life, and we basically found each other. It's not like we were actively searching out anything. So my I, question to you is: You said it. Ne- your dating never works out. Where are you meeting them? Is going to be. Mm. Yeah. Where Where are you meeting these women? And then I what, guarantee you, if you set up a stand on the side of the road that says free salsa, I'm going to meet, meet some good women. Yeah. I mean, look at all of them at a Mexican restaurant. I love Mexican. And what do they all do? They eat chips and salsa. Thank you. Yeah. Now, you partner with our buddies over at Arbo's that had that fire cheese dip, then <laughs> they ain't no telling. And then if you find somebody making margaritas, you're about to have a time. So. <laughs> That's a party. You're going to find you Hold one. Hold on. Man. That leads to a shotgun wedding. We don't want that. Oh, boy. Why not? I like. Well, not hot and spicy, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Now I don't. I mean, other than maybe look somewhere (laughs) different. You know, I don't really. I don't. We we need more. What What are the catastrophic things that? That's right. Because well, he hasn't said anything catastrophic. Well, or whatever. What he's just searching. Oh, searching. But but searching. It just isn't working out, and he'd like some encouragement. Well, you know, you might have to pick up a few of your techniques. Where are you going? When are you going? How often are you going? You know, what's what's he put into it so far? Yeah. And being single isn't a bad thing. No. No, no it's not a bad thing. Marriage not, is not for everybody. I was well, single for six weeks when all my family was gone. It cost me a bunch of money. I don't what? I didn't think I'd ever get married because I <laughs> thought I was a player. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Well, hey, I'm just saying. And then you found you a wild redhead that sat on that egg, stallion, son. Hot and spicy, baby. And red her red words red. were anybody but him. That's right. Hey. And there they are, 50-something years hey, later. I always thought it was a jacket, but hey, no, it was the strut boys. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would just say keep trying, man. It'll that happen. Boy. Don't. Yeah. It, it'll happen. And, and while you're single, you got way more time on your hands. And money. And money than. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah, because so your money's going to leave spend, when the woman like, shows up. Yep, yep. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you that. And I'm not, when the woman shows up and hangs around, your money's leaving. I'm not trying to say She's exactly gonna that. She's going to get it all. But I'm just saying, use this time, you know, hunt, fish. <laughs> yeah, do whatever. Check study the Bible. Like you, I got a single buddy who's a little older than me, and that dude one time told me, he's like, you know, I got the gift of singleness. I don't want it. Yeah. But God gave it to me, so I use it. Treat yourself. And he lives a pretty good life. He he can he can tell you the Bible frontwards, backwards, sideways, and all around because he's got more time and than could, other people. And could go to Missoula, Montana tomorrow if he wanted to. If he wants to, he gone. Like so, so take, use it for what it is. Take yeah. advantage of it. Do whatever's on your list of things to do. Because that list slows down once mm-hmm. you get married. Not yep. that my woman keeps me from doing anything because she doesn't. Mine doesn't either. But I make sacrifices to spend time, more time at home and stuff like that with her because I want to be there. She's my yeah, wife, and right. we're married, and you know, so it's none of it's none of that stuff. It's just wait till them old Martin boys show up. Yeah, I'm going to be on lockdown. Boys. Them old Martin boys. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Since we jumped back into the emails a little early, we're going to drop it here. Hello at duckcallroom.com is the email address. Email. Um, Johnny D, what else is in there? I got this one's just a good story. No advice, no questions asked. Cooper, he doesn't say where he's from. Coop. But Coop? Cooper. Coop's preaching somewhere. That's all I know. Uh, So growing up, uh, his dad dealt with a lot of addiction, alcohol abuse. this dude had a tough childhood, didn't want to be part of it, cried himself to sleep a lot. Um, but he had a dream to become a pastor someday. And his dad always told him that was a terrible career choice. Um, so pretty rough start to the story. Here's the good part at the end. So at the age of 18, he left and never talked to his dad again until three weeks ago. Oh, wow. His dad had been watching him preach online. That's what's up. Yep. And his dad called and said he was sorry for all that he'd done, (laughs) shows up, and wanted to get baptized. Oh, my goodness. So, awesome story, dude. His dad was the prodigal father. Yeah. 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 (laughs) So, this dude goes, becomes a priest. How cool is that? There you go. That's cool. And I don't think. God has called you, sir, to speak the truth. Yeah. There it is. Okay. And it it actually saves your father. Yep. That's what's up. That's awesome. Coop. Yeah, Cooper, that's great. That's, cool. that's oh, a good story. Dude, that's that's cool. just so cool because he's yeah. he's just preaching, 
doing his job. Yep. And, and, you know, he has regrets from the past probably. Probably wondering what his dad's doing. His dad's been watching. Yeah. Kudos to you, my man. That's cool. That's you know, really one, what, awesome. One thing I want to tell Cooper is what makes you valuable is not what's happened in your life, but who you follow. Mm-hmm. So God has made you valuable and th- needs that you couldn't get met back then. Your father in heaven has met those needs, and your dad saw that, and he and he could see it. Oh yeah. He said, "I want yep. that. I want what my yep. son has." That's what's up. I don't know. That was a good one. Wow. I had to that, share that one. That's for real. That's yeah. Hey, this made my day, dude. Yeah, that's I'm serious, good. Cooper. That's good. This made my day. There ain't enough that's stories funny. like it. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. That's mm. awesome. Cool. Well, probably should have ended with that one. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll try. Uh, edit, edit, Hunter. Um, Flip it and reverse it. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, here's a good one. We're going to stay. We're going to stay on, you know, what we all love and believe. Shamaya, I think that's how you say it, from Alabama. Uh, she started listening to podcasts. She thought the podcast would just be lots of fun and laughter, but she never thought we'd sneak in here at the end and have a good impact on her life. Um, so she went to church a lot growing up, but at that age she didn't really understand it or what she was being told. And then she got older, and she, just recently she decided she wants to get closer with God because she's going through a lot. She wants to be a better person. That's great. So at one point we gave advice on how to start reading your Bible, and Uncle Si started with Matthew. So she downloads the Bible app, puts her AirPods in, starts listening, and she stopped at Matthew chapter 8 because she started feeling really bad, having anxiety. She's ashamed and embarrassed of her sins. How do I continue to read the Bible without getting discouraged, thinking I want to be forgiven by God? Uh, She's made a lot of mistakes, but she feels like she's a good person. So the trick is you got to keep reading because the good stuff's coming. Right. You know, Shemaiah, faith comes through here in the message about Christ. And Sai's right. You can start in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the gospels about Jesus, about God becoming flesh and becoming our sacrifice to pay for the sins that we all have. Humanity all has these sins. And so he paid for it. And then he resurrected from the dead, and he's mediating at the Father, read Hebrews, at his right hand, forgiving us constantly when we blow it. So that's how we can go on. That's what gives us hope and gives us strength to move forward. Yeah. Maybe he under- Jesus understands. The Bible tells us that, hey, he was tempted in every way we are. Yep. Except with one, one thing. He never failed. Nope, no sin. Okay, but darling, trust me when I tell you, okay, because I'm saying I, all the time I'm I'm looking up and telling him, Lord, it's me again. And guess what? I blew it again. You just got to keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Okay, he knows, darling. He knows you feel bad about it. Okay, just give it to him. Let him handle it. Well, Make it his problem. And that's how you know how it's working, too. Because before you're made aware of that, sin isn't shameful. No. A lot of times we call sin fun, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, we had fun last yeah, night. Yeah, that's the evil one lying. Yeah. So the fact that you're now ashamed, embarrassed, is a totally natural reaction to being exposed to what you were doing wrong. That that There's, nothing, heart, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. That means your heart is transforming mm-hmm. into yeah. what it should be. So, like, keep... Keep going, girl. Keep keep doing keep doing your thing. Keep reading. Keep loving. Guess what? You still gonna screw up. Yeah. Guess what? It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> he he paid for it. Right, that's so, the reason he came. Yeah, that's exactly yep. right. But I I think the feelings that you're feeling are a positive sign of change in your life. So yep. I would say keep rolling. It's it's a good it's that means the Holy Spirit has pricked your heart, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's a good thing. And, okay. there's, and there's also a way, you know, the Bible says that uh, when you confess your sins one to another, that God forgives us and heals us from all sin. Look at First John. Ooh, that's a good one. There you go. Yeah, I would just say that's, you're, you're you know, you feel, feeling bad is totally normal like martin said and the beauty of it is when you keep reading and you get to the point of well everything you feel bad about has been paid for Mm -hmm. wow 100 percent. and he ain't 
God forg- God's forgiven you. It's not He doesn't look at you as your sin. Yeah. Right. He looks at you as his daughter. So in that, you get to say, yeah, I've messed up, but that's not who I am. I'm a child of the king. Right. So wh- while you do feel shame, and uh, hey, I've been there. Uh, like I've struggled with stuff, and I didn't want anybody to know because I was like, they're going to judge me, but God's not judging you. God's already forgiven you. Yeah. And human beings might judge you. And that's their problem. Yeah, they need, human you'll, you'll find that part in there too that they need to go read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll they, you'll they run co- across they that. Cover, they, they cover that well yeah. in there. Um, oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, well, let's roll. We good? All right, I got yeah. you one. I got one just for this little verse here. Cooper, thank you so much for your email. Thanks for everybody listening and emailing in. Second Corinthians twelve verse nine. But he said to me, "My grace is sufficient for you." For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. Whatever you're ashamed of, God will take care of it. And then he can use that story of what you went through to show how powerful he is. Just remember that going into this week. Wow. J.W. Or J.D. Right? Did you just call me J.W.? Yeah, I had, I had my, one of my uncles on my mind. Hey. Flower Doc General sent me some flowers. Take them you, to your lovely wife. You there, brought son. me flowers? Oh, take them to my wife? Huh? Take them to your wife. Deal. Side just spreading good joy. So. <laughs> That's it. There boy, you go. Hey. All right. We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>